Hey, so you know what I was thinking? It would be pretty cool if you subscribed. If you do, I'll give you a virtual high five. What's up, Anartakis? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're back playing on X-Life and we're gonna be meeting up with some other witches today to build our coven embassy in the Jeremy Holy Land. But first, before we get into that, I wanna check out my Christmas shop. Okay, so as you guys know, in my previous episode, I made a Christmas shop in Spawn, which is right over there past the uh, weird death fire. You know, I probably should have made a bridge. That would be a good, I should, yeah, hmm? I should make a bridge. Ta-da! I present a bridge. I tried to make this bridge look somewhat similar to the ones that Joel has been building. That way it's, you know, kind of matchy and didn't look super out of place. Also, the wisteria wood really does match the snowy area over here. So I think it looks cute. But now that we have a bridge, let's go check on our shop. Wait, how is Snow 2 doing? How come you've been unleaded? <gasps> no, 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 no. Hey, hey, where? Did his lead go? It's okay. I have another. You stay. I'm watching you. You best behave in there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Scott, you just scared me. Hello. Welcome to the Christmas store. <laughs> what happened to Snow One? Well, he died. <laughs> Is he gonna go shopping? That's right. Buy all of my decorations, please and thank you. Okay, well, while he is browsing the store, I will stay outside. <laughs> But yeah, either someone took the lead off of Mr. Snowman number two, or he's trying to escape. I don't, I don't know. I want to peep in the window to see what Scott's buying. What you got there? Oh, is he requesting a Christmas tree? I want to see if he sees me in the window. Hello. Oh, is he looking at me? I can't tell if he was just looking at me. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, let's go inside my store. Do you think anyone bought my decorations? Let's find out. First, let's check the string lights. <gasps> 16 diamonds. What about my paintings? None. No one bought my custom creations? There's still more time. It's only November. But wait, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure someone will come around in December. Maybe? We'll see. What about individual lights? Nothing. Ah, wow. <gasps> we have a request from Joey. I would like a giant Christmas tree outside my house and to decorate my whole interior of my house. I'll pay 50 diamonds. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> and then Scott wrote one. I would like you to build a big outdoor Christmas tree at the little area with the red wool. Just break that to build it and let me know how much it'll be. Oh, so he's gonna mark an area of land for me to build on. I like how in the book it says a Christmas tree built in your home, but so far both of my requests are for trees outside of the home. That's okay. I will still offer my services, but it looks like I'm getting more than 10 diamonds, so that's cool. But anyway, we will fill up those requests a little bit later. For now though, I have to go to the holy land of Jeremy. My gosh. Wait, what is that? This, uh, that's a little creepy. What is this? Thou must own a donkey. Oh, are these like the weird little rules of Jeremyism? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of that. Yep, no, no, no. Is this the main building here? What is this? What is this? The ancient book of Jeremy. Am I allowed to read this? Is that, is that against the rules? Do, no one? Wait, 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 wait. It's seven pages. No thanks. No thanks. Nope. Oh, there you go. You can have your book back. <laughs> I can't tell 
if I'm trespassing or not. I mean, we're allowed to be here because we're gonna be building an embassy on a floating island, so like, I'm supposed to be here today. But I am being a little bit snoopy. But how could I not snoop around? Look how pretty this is. Enough walking around down here. Let me put on my hat because it is time to meet up with my fellow witches to build the Coven Embassy. Guys, look how beautiful this is. It's like a little miniature baby coven. On the outside, we have tons of plants and trees. And then inside, we have some fan art and a cute little desk area. Okay, well now that this build is done, let's see what Joel thinks about it. Three, two, one, ta-da! Oh, oh, it's very cute. It's like a mini version of yeah. your... It's the baby coming! Like it's the coven in Jeremyville. It's very, very cute. I like it a lot. It's a very nice addition to the Holy Land. Ooh. Yeah, and this is where the meeting would be. No, hey, you don't sit in that, that seat. Chair. That's sorry, Jem's sorry. seat. You okay, would sit on here if you ever have any meetings you would like to have with Jem. Why, would... why, why Jem? Is Jem the... She's the ambassador. Yeah, Jem's oh, our ambassador. Okay, makes sense, Who's makes your sense. ambassador from your nation? Oh, it's me. Everything's me. No one oh, else. You oh, you do everything. Exactly. <laughs> The only other people other than me to have built something here is you guys, so there you go. Wow. Wow. Well, well, the coven is happy to help and forge a new alliance with Jeremyism. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have returned from the Holy Land, and I think we can finish up today's video by decorating Joey's house. Oh, wait. Did Scott just build that? I did see him behind my store. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? It's a Christmas present. What's inside? Take a piece of paper and write your name on it. <gasps> oh, this is for the Secret Santa. That is so cute. I'm going to have to start thinking of gift ideas. But first, we have to decorate. So what did Joey want? A giant Christmas tree outside and decorate the inside. I feel like maybe I should consult with him first on what style he wants to go for. So hold on. I'm going to ask him and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I asked Joey if he wanted a red and green theme or a winter white theme, and he said red and green. So let's grab these fairy lights, some garland, and I do have some of these extra single lights left over. And then let's bring some of the wreaths that have bows on them. Okay, now where could we put the Christmas tree outside? I'm kind of tempted to put it right in the middle of this walkway, but I feel like that's not a good spot. We could just have it right next to the house in the front right here. Yeah, I think that this is probably the best spot. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and decorate Joey's house, and then I'll show you to you when I'm done. Okay, I just finished decorating Joey's house and I built him a pretty big tree outside. So now let me show you what I did. So first outside, this is the tree that I built. I think it looks super cute. I did have to go easy on the little fairy light bulbs though because Joey's area is a bit laggy. So I didn't want to overflow the tree with like 10 million more lights that would cause even more lag. But to be honest, I kind of like the look of the lights like this. But then besides the big Christmas tree, I added some wreaths on all the windows on the front of his house. And then if we go inside, I did a little renovating. I not only decorated, but I may have added some things and broken some things. So inside here, if we look up, we have Christmas lights everywhere. There's lights going along the bottom of the balcony. And then if we go upstairs, you'll see that there's lights literally like all over this roof. I decided to tighten up all the lights so that they're flush with the ceiling. That way it kind of looks like a gingerbread house. But then down to the living room area, I noticed that Joey didn't have a fireplace. And I feel like every winter home should probably have a fireplace. I don't know, when I think of Christmas, I think of fireplaces. 
So I made him a fireplace. I didn't actually put any fire in here though because I, I don't want to be responsible for lighting his whole house on fire by accident. So it's just for aesthetics, but we have the fireplace. We have some cute garland hanging above it. And I also did a miniature tree next to it and then some more garland over there. Oh, and if you're wondering what I did with all of Joey's stuff, um, I removed a lot of lights and stuff to help the lag a little bit, but everything that I took down or broke is now in this chest. So he can always put things back later after Christmas is over. All right guys, well now that I've finished decorating Joey's house for Christmas, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye!